Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Battlefield Heroes. I am Mounty Carlin, and I am back with another help video to help you get back into Battlefield 1. Now, there are a lot of answers out there on many forums about how to fix your Battlefield 1 from crashing, and I am going to give you a definitive list of steps, and hopefully one of them works for you. It will not work for all of you. There are lots of things that are making this happen, and sadly, nobody knows what it is, but I'm going to give you a list of things that I think will help you out, and if they don't, I'm very sorry. You're going to have to wait for at least tomorrow's patch, hopefully, and that will fix these issues. But as always, make sure you are testing these and doing them to the letter of what I'm going to tell you. Together, we'll get you killing Jerry's as soon as possible. The problems we are seeing seem to be related specifically to the 600 and 900 series of cards, but they are not limited to those specifically. I have seen people with other cards saying that they're getting crashes as well. So let's go ahead and get you into the steps to help prevent crashing. Now, as in my previous video, I said that number one, you need to make sure that your Direct X 12 is disabled. You need to go into the documents. I will put a link up into how to get into that folder and how to disable it right now. Some of you have said that it's already set to zero. If it isn't, set it to zero so that it's disabled. Next, you need to turn off your origin overlay. You go into the origin, you select game settings, you turn off the overlay, and that's it. Next, make sure that Steam isn't running because if it is, that has an overlay as well. Turn that off. Make sure, and next thing, make sure NVIDIA experience isn't running in the background or any game streaming or anything like that. This sounds like a broken record, but it too has an overlay, and we are trying to rule out anything that may be crashing the game or putting unnecessary strain on the memory of your video card. Next, go into your BF1 settings. Make sure auto is selected and your uh, settings are at the optimal levels. Next, you're going to head into the GPU memory restriction and make sure that is set to on. You want that on so that it's restricting the GPU. Lastly, if you are crashing after rounds, try alt tabbing out and then back in. I have heard this fixes the game and that you can get to the next round by doing this. Also, if you are in full screen mode, try windows mode. If you're in windows mode, try full screen mode. There are lots of things that you can do to do it, and if you do them all, I'm sure that something's going to magically fix this. Uh, I've seen people who are like, I've updated my RAM BIOS, I've updated my motherboard, I've updated this, that, and the other thing. None of those things are going to work because this is definitely a GPU issue because it has to do specifically with DirectX. I have a feeling that they're going to issue a patch tonight or tomorrow early tomorrow morning that's going to fix this so stay tuned for that and i would say go and download that as soon as possible i would hold off on the nvidia drivers for now that they just released because those are going to cause some other issues i've already had some issues in my game by downloading those i would hold off on those so now what fixed my crashing was just turning off and doing the first thing i just turned off DirectX 12 and the or origin overlay that fixed all of my crashing i would highly recommend you shut down everything going on in the background besides BF1. Shut down your messenger, shut down TeamSpeak, or any, shut down Discord, shut down anything else that could pop up in the background. Really what I'm trying to do is get you back into the game and playing for an extended period of time. There are lots of theories about what's causing the issues from the NVIDIA drivers uh, to overheating to all of this stuff. I've seen some people saying that their AMD is crashing and I haven't seen too many reports of it, but this is for sure an Nvidia problem and it's a driver problem and it's a GPU problem. If you think that you have an overheating problem, download a program to monitor what your GPU heat is and get a thermal temperature reading on that. If it is overheating or your PC is overheating, you need to fix that by applying some thermal paste where needed. If you're not that technical, there's lots of YouTube videos on that. Clean out the dust on your PC, make sure that your PC is well ventilated, and if need be, open the case and put a fan on it. I used to have an overheating issue, and when I did that, it worked until I could get a new water cooler for my unit. Outside of this, EA is taking BF1 offline tonight to issue a new update, and hopefully that'll fix a lot of these issues that we're seeing. I'm also monitoring testing out new ways on my low end. I have a min-spec PC to help you stay in the game. So far, my low end PC has not experienced any crashes after doing the DirectX 12 update, and disabling it and turning off the origin overlay. But I also don't run anything else on this PC in the background besides those two items. I, it's a fresh install of Windows. Also, I'm running Windows 7. I am not running Windows 10. I will not put Windows 10 on my PC. 
Don't ask me why, because I have my reasons, but I don't believe in moving up to Windows 10 because of crap like this. I, I don't care about Xbox Anywhere or anything like that. What I care about is having a reliable PC, and I don't feel like Windows 10 is at that point yet. So hopefully you'll find this post helpful. If you did, please drop a like on it. Consider subscribing to us. We're going to be trying to help you every step of the way and get you back into playing Battlefield 1 on PC. For the Xbox and PS4 players, if, if your game's crashing, I have nothing for you. There's nothing that's going to fix that unless EA opens up a you know a patch and you download it and that'll fix it. But for the most part, I haven't heard any Xbox or PS4 people saying that's crashing. It's just the PC folks and it's specific video cards that are doing it so anyways thank you that's been my time i want to help you as much as possible get you back into the games if something worked for you go ahead put it down in the comments and hopefully that helps somebody else anyways i've been monty carl and this has been a battlefield one help video for the DirectX crash mounting out <laughs>